Damn it, Gilder, I hope you aren't going to weigh me down. Because, well, it's been a while since you've been in my squad. I'll just have to hope for the best from you. Also, I talked to everybody and gave them money to help rebuild the village and uh, expand shops. I don't feel like going over it. So, yeah, there you go. Welcome back, everybody, to more of Let's Play Skies of Arcadia Legends. This is your host, MJ406. And, well, we only have one course of action. Let's go, Vise. The Great Silver Shrine awaits us. We have to go to the Great Silver Shrine with Fina. That's all we can do. All right, time to head to the Great Silver Shrine. You can't leave the island because Adelphinus is apparently damaged. So, yeah, I explored the island a bit to figure this out. In case you were wondering, I wanted to make sure I didn't miss anything or wanted to strike the Gilder. Hang on, I'm about to increase our speed. Okay, Fina, go as fast as you want. We'll be okay. All right, hang on. Sweet. So, we're getting pretty close to the end of the game, finally. We're headed towards one of the last locations. Goodbye, my island. Wow, this is great. Look, Crystal looks so small from up here. Jeez, like we haven't sailed this high before. <laughs> or are we sailing even higher than that? Because that's what the ship could do. So we've been below the low, deepest depths. Now we're going higher than the highest heights. So cheesy. But I love it. Take us to the Great Silver Shrine, Fina. Whoa. Oh, looks like a legit night sky. Wow. Vice, now you'll get to see what lies beyond the sunset. This is amazing. We're almost as high as the moons. Vice, look! Over by the Silver Moon! There's something there! That is my home. The Great Silver Shrine. Wow, looks very sheltered. And alien-like? Oh god, the Silvites are aliens! That explains why their technology is so great and magical! Wouldn't that be something? Wow, they really hit away from everybody. Good idea. Oh god! Oh god, why is it upside down? Oh god! <laughs> oh boy, that um caught me off guard. Well, welcome to Great the Great Silver Shrine. Um yeah. Holy crap. This is going to be weird. Oh god, I hope the whole exploration is place is like this. Each of the doors leads to a bedroom. However, they are all empty now. I don't even know if most of the doors still work. It's been so long since any of them have been opened. Hmm. Nice. So these are your beds? Oh my god, this place is weird. Whoa. Hmm. Oh god, it's a portal! May as well go into one of the bedrooms. Oh, now it's normal. This used to be my room. I grew up at this place. I have so many fond memories of this place. But it was so lonely here. It looks like it. This bed is actually quite convenient. The sheets are automatically changed every day. But I, I still felt more comfortable sleeping in normal beds. The kind that you all sleep in. Each bed felt so warm. So comforting. Almost as if they had been bathed in warm sunlight for hours and hours. I, I don't know why. I can imagine why. What? This device allows you to speak with and see people that are across vast distances. But after Ramirez left, there's nobody left for me to speak with except for the elders. You see, Ramirez, the elders, and I are the only Silvites left. The elders said there's no point in having more people here than is necessary. But for some reason, I always felt so lonely here. God, I get it, you're lonely! Elder Prime made this doll for me when I was a small child. He's been like a father to me for most of my life. I spent most of my childhood days in this room playing with this doll and with Cupel. Although, I can understand why you felt so lonely because they really screwed you over. Oh, man. Yo, this is messing with my eyes a little bit. We may as well check all of these rooms while we're at it. Before we go to the center of this whole thing. I'm gonna explore everything to find everything. Hmm. I wonder whose room this is. I can see the outside. There's no window. And it's not a mirror or anything. How does it do that? F F Fina just explained it to... Vice, don't you listen to anything? Mm. Long distance communication, you idiot. <laughs> Not to be a dick, Vice, but you should have listened. Hey, on the bright side, there's no enemies out here. 
so I can explore my heart's content without feeling the burden of being attacked. Oh man, this is fucking with my eyes a little bit. Oh, I can't say I was ready for this at all. But, well, I came here for one reason, to solve the plot. I want to delve into every little mystery this world has. Whoa, this, this is Ramirez's old room. He lived here before, before he joined with Valua. Hmm, what did he have? Ramirez built this a long time ago. He's very artistic. It wasn't much that he couldn't do if he put his mind to it. When I was little, he used to make necklaces and bracelets for me all the time. Man, it's a, it's a model of a really old propeller-driven airship. But the little detail on this thing is just amazing. Ramirez made it while he was still living here. He used to tell me that all he wanted to do was just sail through the vast skies of the world. Oh, rival pirate! Oh! What's going on here? I can't see outside, but it doesn't look like there's a window or I... God damn it. It's an entire history of the world written in the holy script of the Silvites. Ramirez used to spend all of his time reading this book. He was so intrigued with the little intricacies of the world. I can see that. It's a map of the entire world! There's sponges all over and there's a bunch of stuff written in some foreign language. Ramirez used to love looking at maps. He said that it made the world look so small. I never quite understood what he meant by that. Hmm. Interesting. Man, so it really was just... Fina and Ramirez. Wow. Well, I'm gonna look for treasure in any of these rooms, because you never know. There could be some ancient great silver treasure that nobody could ever find. And by God, I am to find it. What? This is a bed? Huh, that's pretty neat. It comes right out of the wall. They, we, 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 we have that on, hmm. Whatever. Okay, so it's probably a bed that leads to a chest. I don't want to pry too deeply into it though. Well, this is exciting. Going from upside down, looking for bedrooms, to going to random bedrooms and looking for treasure. Because why not? Jeez. Is this all all these rooms have to offer? I think at some point that one of these leads to something. Because they won't just have all these out for no reason, right? Please tell anyone just do that. I know I just have to go to the center, but... God damn it! My curiosity to find things is intriguing me! Damn it! I must find everything. What's hiding in your bed? Damn you! Why do you hide nothing in your bed? You son of a bitch! Ah! I just want a place to sleep in this weird world. Okay. Okay, we're back at Phoenix. All right, well, I explored all the lore I wanted to. So let's go towards the center of this place, shall we? I guess I just walk into it. Oh God. This must be a warp. Where are we going now? Hmm. Whoa. Okay, we're inside the ship thing. Wow! So this is what the Great Silver Shrine looks like. It's... it's amazing! Vice, do you see that building over there? The one... no... Uh, oh, 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 now we're gonna be battling enemies. I see this. Ha ha! That is the Room of the Elders. It is the heart of this shrine. To get there, you must travel through the Path of Emptiness. But be careful, or else you might lose all sense of direction in there. Great! This sounds like it's going to be loads of fun. Well, I guess all I have to do is just not get lost, right? Come on, guys. Yeah, I mean, oh, 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 okay, oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay, so holding left or right, I can't even go backwards now. I can only go forward and then turn. Okay, that's gonna be a little weird. Oh, jeez. Oh, wow. This is getting weird. I like it. Ah, ha, ha. See, look, I can't just turn directly around. I have to actually 
because gravity is my guide. I have to take my time with everything. I was trying to see if something was looking at me from up there. Which reminds me, what gear do I have on? Do I have... Okay, I have the captain's hat on. Just make it sure. Just make it sure. Hmm. Whoa, man. Whoa. There's so much to this. I'm getting a fancy Star Online vibe now. Well, yeah, it is a Sega game, so I guess it makes sense. Hmm. I guess they're just trying to show me that I have to go the right way or else I just get running into a dead end. Fair enough. Yo. Now we're... I didn't think space travel would be a theme in this game, but look at this. It's a very space-like world we got going on here. Hmm. Now what's this way, I wonder? Oh, God! Ah, that surprised me. I didn't think it was just going to shift like that immediately. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What the heck is that? Oh, it's treasure! Silver armor? Hmm, I wonder who could wear that. I gotta remember to check these more often. Everybody could wear it. Let's see. High resistance to silver attacks. Okay, it slightly increases vise, but I want to see what it does on everybody else. Let's see. Decreases your dodge, but increases both your defenses. So you get good from it. I probably want to give it to Gilder now I think about it. Uh, but I like the fact he's got more attack power now. His defense will be okay. How about Fina? Uh, okay. I guess that means you get to have it, Ika. Congrats. Holy crap. I forgot about the captain's cloak. Yeah, I decided not to give it to her for a reason. All right, that'll do. I want to. I'll dig to. I'll dig d more deeply in those when I have time. On my own, you know. Okay, so there's treasure to be found around here. Although my guess is I probably won't get to come back here again, so I better look sharp for them. For the treasure, I mean. Wow. I'm honestly surprised this game took a direction like this. Oh, I'm trying to recover. Oh, man. What else could I find around here, I wonder? But shift? That shift honestly hurts my eyes a little bit because it's so crazy. Hmm. What the heck? Okay, I guess that's a shortcut. I'll have to work to get around that. You got it. Ha! You've got my interest. Yeah, there's nowhere else I can go. Just make it short. Alright then, my only direction left is to go this way. Although now I can see why she says you lose a sense of direction. Because you're shifting so much, going around walls and all that. Well, it's kind of hard to say where you're ending up. Then again, why do I think there'd be enemy battles here? Unless there's a, like a mini boss or a boss or something. There should be no reason for me to suspect that there'd be enemies here. It's been isolated for a long time. Unless we have to deal with the alien kind. Ooh! Ooh, another chest. Ah, stop running. Oh, good, another moonberry. Oh, I, yeah, that reminds me. I gave Gilder a thing for the Claudia. Basically, he's a super attack move as well, by calling in Claudia to attack everything. I thought he didn't want her, but I guess now he's a little more settled. How swell of you, good sir. Oh, jeez. Oh, God. Where am I? Who am I? I want to explore every nook and cranny. I need to, or else I feel ashamed to call myself a treasure hunter, or a pirate, whatever. I need to know that every corner I've looked at has been explored. I want to find everything that I can. Like a dead end. Brilliant, me. You didn't even need to do that. MJ, you're exploring too deep. You're getting way too into this. Just get what you need. They'll probably have all the treasure chests on the main path. I just, I just want to get all the treasure that I can. I want to see if I can get 100% of them. Be 
because I've gotten the thought that, well, not every location can be reaccessed, and if I miss a treasure chest, I'm screwed. Shit. It's a real shame. Oh, God! Okay, that's a dead end I'm standing on. You got it. Hmm. So now where to? Hmm. I could go down there or go this way. What would this way entail? Hmm. I don't know. But it's worth trying. Okay, that's the wall too, so never mind. Let's go the other way then. What choice do I have? One. One choice. The way to the future. Of the rest of the- Damn it! So I went the wrong way altogether. Damn it! <laughs> Alright, well I know where to go then. Wow. This is some crazy shit. That's a dead end. So I need to go up here and go up the other way. Right, right. Alright, so let's go up there then. I mean, it was obvious this is the right way. That's why I went the other way, probably. Wow. Okay, I'm getting close to the end of this already. There must be more to this, though. There's no way all they have is just a maze of this. Weird anti-gravity traversal everything. Damn. Damn! Ah, uh, ancient civilizations. You know, sometimes I wonder to myself if technology, like, reverted back to being nothing to build up to something like this after this happened before. I mean, it would have to be, like, a really, really long period of time, but then all the records of it would have to be erased. It's... I don't know. I just have a weird feeling about technology being very far forward in ancient times and then have to revert back and then people of the future rebuilding technology forget how it happened to begin with. I'm a philosophical man when it comes to technology. I like to think about that kind of stuff. It's frightening in a way. But that's why I love it. It creates good discussion. It really gets my brain pumping. Hype for the future of technology. Aha, another chest. I knew I went the right way to get myself blocked off. Yes. So what do I get this time? It's another moonberry. Really? It's a moonberries? Eh, well, the only person left I could I give these moonberries for actually getting an ability is Drachma. I'm still waiting for him to come back to my team, goddammit. I need Drachma back. Gilder's cool and all, but... Drock was my first fourth party member. He was he was my man. He was my man. The shit. I need him. He just feels like the completed piece of my team. Killer is a nice guy, although Enrique we've really grown attached to, so Enrique's second. Drock will always be my number one. Always! Well, I guess I'll have to settle for this then. Hmm, okay, so I can't get there. Let me guess. This leads to the chest, or was that the other way? Oh, this led to another chest. Huh, what a coincidence. Good thing I looked. Another thing of silver armor. Okay, I think I want Vi's to wear it, although... His fiber mail is pretty freaking sweet. Yeah, I'll let him have that. Let's see, how good is the fiber armor for you? Probably not great. I mean, fiber mail, sorry. Eh, I still want you to have your attack and your accuracy. His accuracy is incredibly high. Dude. His attack may not be great, but his accuracy is incredible. He will, it's basically like he'll never miss. Ever. In like, mmm. If I need somebody to really shoot down those frickin', uh, what you call it? Loopers. Wow. It's been a while, hasn't it? <laughs> Since I fought one of those things. Ooh. Here we go. Ooh. Oh, God, this is a scene for a battle. I can tell. Uh, Vita, where are we? This must be the innards of the Great Silver Shrine. 
We are in the Chamber of Elders. That was why I'm thinking of. Vila, welcome home. Holy crap! Whoa! Whoa! Holy crap! Well, I get ah! I was gonna say it's protected image, but that's actually him. Wow. Are there any of them that are sane, or are they all gonna try to fight us off? Because we learned the truth. I trust you have completed your mission. I'm sorry. I collect the crystals, but they were stolen by Ramirez. What? Vina! Who? What is that? I say you brought some of the island dwellers back with you. How amusing. Come on! We're good guys! We're trying to correct the error of your ways! Don't do anything! Hey, looks like there's a bunch of them! I see. So Ramirez has turned, after all. When he stopped contacting us, we feared the worst. When he's here in the shrine, he was so loyal. I can't imagine what made him change. If he gives the crystals to island dwellers, this is a very grave this is very grave news indeed. If he has turned, and he has all six crystals, he may release a seal on Zellos! That would be tragic! What the hell is Zellos? Zellos? What's grave news? What are you talking about? Elder Prime, please. I want to know the truth. Ramirez said he was gathering the moon crystals to raise the lost continent. To unleash the reins of destruction. He told me that the Silvites called down the reins of destruction on the old world. Is that true? Is that what the crystals are used for? So, young Frida, you have discovered the truth about the crystals. I suppose the time has come to tell you everything. Wow, so he was right. I shall take you to the Hall of Knowledge, where you will find the truth. Welp! Hey, what's happening to us? I like them! So, I guess we're gonna get the true story. Ramirez might have exaggerated a bit, but I'm sure there's a good bit of truth to it. Oh, God! Whoa! I'm, like, trapped in a computer now. What the hell? Is this the cloud? Where are we? Boys, I don't like this! Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. How about you? I'm not sure yet. I feel... strange. Hey, Fina. Where did that crazy old man go? Whoa. This is getting freaky. I don't know. I'm not sure what's going on. I've never been here before. You're in the Hall of Knowledge. This is where you will find the Chronicles of Arcadia. Ooh, Arcadia! Finally! A titled continent drop, whatever. It is here where you may observe the events that shape the world as you know it. Look not with your eyes, but with your hearts. You will see the power of the moon crystals and witness the reigns of destruction. Whoa. So, we finally get the full backstory of the whole world of Arcadia, do we? Interesting. Ooh. Looks like a giant island. That's a Saltus. Long ago, this continent flourished under the light of the Silver Moon. It was our home. So, there's one continent for each moon, right? You are correct. The world was at peace, and its population was thirsting for knowledge. Well, at least he's willing to tell us, too. I guess he sees the good if Vina brought us back. Ah, and now we get to see the origin of the Gygus and their purpose, I guess. Rocknum! You live! You live! And memory! You'll always live in our memories! There's the green guy, I guess. I forget the name of the first two. Uh, well, I pretty much totally remember the purple guy, I guess. <laughs> Rocked them. By his fake name! Damn it! Oh, wait, you're Voltigar, I remember. Hey! I actually remember her name. And that flying one, that's the first one I actually killed! Slash defeated. They all give birth to the silver guy, I guess. But our leaders used their newfound knowledge to create the Geigers. I believe you have seen what the Geigers could do firsthand. They all sought the power of the moon crystals. These six little gems twisted the hearts and souls of men. Oh yeah, we haven't seen the white Geigers, so guys, that's what Zelos is supposed to be? The world became a nightmare. One thousand atrocities resulted in countless deaths. Even after most of the world is destroyed, the survivors sought to kill rather than heal. No wonder why they wanted to kill the whole world. We watched and judged. We decided the world could not be saved. Everything came from nothing. So to complete the cycle, we decided to destroy everything. 
so the world would once again be nothing. We believed that a new, peaceful world would rise from the ashes of the old. And in a way, it looks like you might have been right. Zelos, our own Gygus, was born. It was a Gygus born from nothing, but it encompassed everything. It was truly almighty. We then commanded Zelos to focus its energy on the moons. So basically, you had an artificial god. Well, I guess that's what most of them were. This is the true artificial god. Wow. And those are the ranges of destruction. Oh, it's basically a meteor storm that impacted the entire planet and split up all the continents into islands, did it? That makes a lot of sense. Like, really, really, it does. Moonstones battered the lands. The world was cleansed of evil. Zelos was the cause of the rains of destruction. I had a feeling that was basically it. When it was over, we placed Zelos in a state of suspended animation and sealed him in the depths of Soltis with our magic. It was a magical seal so great that only the power of the six moon crystals together could break it. Afterwards, we sent Soltis, along with Zelos, into deep sky, where we hoped it would remain lost forever. Zelos was too powerful. Never should a living soul animate him. Oh, now I see. We separated the shrine from the rest of Soltis and fled to the skies. Since the days of the old world, we have been watching the world rise from its ashes. So, this great silver shrine carried the Silverites to safety after they destroyed the world. How convenient. You caused the raids of destruction! I mean, Ramirez was right about that. I, I actually believed him on that one, even if he is a total asshole. So, now we see where everything is. Well, it's not like Ramirez can go back up here, hopefully. So now, you understand the truth. Bina, when we set you on your mission, it was not to stop Valua from using the Gygus. It was to once again call down the Reigns of Destruction. Yep. Oh man. You used her! That's horrible! Bina, you saw with your own eyes. The anger, the hate, the suffering, the death. Their quest for power would only consume them. We must cleanse the world. Vise, we see in your heart that you have helped Fina on her quest. I will allow you to stay here in the Great Silver Shrine and live in the new world we are about to create. Will you aid us? Let me think about it. Are, are you kidding me? No! Who do you think you are? You think you can just ask us to forget everyone that we care about? You are no different from Galsian! If the world isn't meeting your standards, then you feel that you can destroy it? I won't allow it! Damn, I got way too into that. Fina, you're one of us. You understand. Don't, 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 don't kill me, please! Don't turn! Be with us! Yes! No, I do not understand. Elders, you are all wrong. How can you think like this? What? Yeah! Vise and the others have taught me something. I learned that no matter what happens, you have to be strong. Even if your home is burned to the ground, even if you're facing impossible odds, and even when you don't know who to trust, you have to be strong and fight for a better future. That's the way. We are the symbol of hope, damn it. I, I believe in what I have learned. As long as the people of the world have that strength in their hearts, they will be able to overcome anything. There has to be a way to return peace to the world without having to call down the reins of destruction. Fina! <laughs> I'm sorry, but that world now belongs to me. Really? He followed me?! Oh, God! I will bring a new order to the world, and all shall bow before me. What the? Galcian? Damn, I didn't think he'd come here. How did he get here?! <laughs> did you forget, little girl, that Ramirez is also a Silvite? He, too, has a ship capable of reaching this place. You know, I'm an idiot for not expecting that. I have to come to claim the Silver Crystal. What? Look out! And here comes Ramirez. Oh god, blindsided! Oh shit! We told you we were in the right! No! Damn! That was a little ear piercing, I'm sorry. But damn, he just basically killed the other Prime! Elders, I understand you wish to mold the world into how you see fit. But, 
you would not be the ones with the power to make that decision. Ah, damn you! Mm. Ramirez is much too valuable to me. I will not take the crystal from his body. I thought of taking the crystal from you, Fina, but I realized that there was a much easier way of getting one. Ha 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 ha! Oh, of course. Now, the six crystals are in my possession. Watch as the world bows before me. So they just needed a crystal? Not all of it? That's what I was thinking. Damn! Gaussian! Oh, man. Elder, Pro Elder Prime. Do not cry, Fia. Elder Prime is now free. He has returned to a state of nothingness. Ben Ramirez has acquired all six of the crystals. The world will crumble before them. All is lost. We are hope. We can stop them. No. I refuse to give up. That's right. You tell them we have hope still. I can't sit here and watch the people of the world be slaughtered. We will stop them. We can't let them unleash the reins of destruction. Fina, it is hopeless. Wise, we got to go back to Deep Sky to fight Soltis. Galsia and Ramirez must be stopped. I agree. All right, everyone, you heard Fina. We've got to stop them. Whoa. That took a crazy turn. Island dwellers, if you wish, I can send you back to the entrance of the shrine. No thanks, we can walk. Very well, hold still. I guess the we can walk thing is if you want to look for treasure. Not that I need it. Whoa! Alright, so apparently I only needed one crystal, not the whole thing. Looks like I was sadly mistaken. Shit. Oh well, sucks to be me. Either way, come back next time, and, uh, well, I guess we're gonna go look for Saltis, so there's not much else we can do other than, well, try to stop the Raiders of Destruction. At least we know the whole story, finally. And now we have a reason to stop it. Man, even the Silvites were assholes. Why am I the only person that's not an asshole?